Hello, I'm Irish. If you follow me in any way on YouTube or The Escapist, you'll know that I'm Irish. I mention it a lot. I'm very proud to be Irish. I think that Ireland has done great things for the world at whole, for every single type of community. And um, I hate St. Patrick's Day. I really hate St. Patrick's Day. And I'll tell you why. Because St. Patrick's Day, to me, although not in principle, but in practice, it takes all this greatness, all these things, the ways that Ireland has contributed to poetry with Seamus Heaney and Yeats and Kavanagh, and the way it's contributed to art and film. And, um, almost, and in fact, if you look at lists of famous Irish Americans, famous Irish English people, famous Irish people of Irish descent, direct Irish descent around the globe, it goes, it just goes so far. People like Robert De Niro, people like Jack Nicholson, people like John Cusack, people like, um, I'm trying to think now, the Beatles, all of the Beatles, people like the Smiths, the entire band of the Smiths, um, the Oasis, if you like that sort of thing, I don't really, but anyway, it takes all this, these brilliant things, and it distills it down to one day, or maybe even a week, one day of, <laughs> let's get drunk. And that's all it is. I've never seen it be anything else. I've never seen St. Patrick's Day contribute anything else except for, huh, let's get drunk. That's it. It's just a day of people to get completely out of their minds. And that's it. That's all it's ever been for me. And for many other people as well. And for some reason this is accepted. I mean, I'm, I'm happy by the fact that it's celebrated around the world. And it shows that there's a lot of Irish people in the world. In fact, there's something like 120 million people of direct Irish descent when in fact there's only about 5 million people in the actual country itself. By the way, lads, please don't come back. We are quite crowded at the moment. I don't think we could take any more. Anyway, it's nice to see the Hudson River being dyed green in New York, although that's probably very bad for the fish. But it's nice to see the big parades and everything, even though those parades can't ban gay people. And, and you know, all those kind of things. But um, in the whole, it's not addressing the whole thing. St. Patrick's Day is a celebration of Ireland coming together as a nation and being... A nation, and being proud of being a nation. It's not a day to reinforce every single stereotype about us. And for some reason, St. Patrick's Day brings out a lot of the stereotypes. You know, oh, we all wear green. We're all leprechauns. We all drink a f We all drink so much. We all um, beat our wives. We're, uh, we're the idiots of Europe. <laughs> and it's just, it's annoying. I mean, I know a lot of people like the idea of being Irish. I mean, I've seen quite a few people from other countries going, yeah, I'm Irish. What, how, what percentage? Uh, 3.5 or something like that. Basically, my mother once touched an Irishman and um, that's about it. So, you know, it's nice to see, it's nice to be recognised, obviously, but we're being recognised for all the wrong reasons. And how did this, all the stereotypes come? And if these stereotypes were applied to any other race, imagine if you went up to, uh, if you had a, on Black History Month, imagine on, um, on that you went around, you know, dressing up in blackface, eating watermelon and chicken, and stuff like that. Well, you'd be, you'd be branded as a racist, and rightly so. However, it seems to be all right. For, to, it seems to be all right to be stereotype the Irish people in that we're all heavy drinking, we're all leprechauns, we all live in farms, we all have sheep, we're all dumb. That's so, that sort of thing. And for some reason, it's kind of lighthearted. Ah, let's make fun. It's all fun. It's all fun. No, it's not fun. It's not fun. It's very degrading, in fact. And I am Irish myself, and I don't drink. I hate drinking. I mean, I don't hate other people drinking. They, people can do what they want, but I don't like the taste of alcohol. I've never liked the feeling of being drunk. And it's just not for me. But I don't like to see the entire race that has, you know, contributed so much and fought for our own independence against the biggest empire in the world. Ooh, all the nationalism. But anyway, it, it saddens me to see all that kind of just swept under the woodwork in the favour of the Irish are the world's biggest drinkers. <laughs> We're all mad. <laughs> it just... It just annoys me. And I'd like to see this change. I'd like to see St. Patrick's Day in um, in New York not being a bunch of people wearing stupid green hats, marching up and down, going... Glug, glug, glug. I'd, like to see it, I'd like to see it be a bunch of people reading Yeats. Although that sounds pretty boring, actually. But you know what I mean. I mean, celebrate Ireland as a whole, as a culture. We have a lot more to offer to the world than just whiskey and Guinness. We really do. And I wish people would kind of take more into that. Because if they don't, then it's just the same as it's as stereotyping. It's just, it's kind of obscene. This has been a Fabian McGinty O'Neill rant. Please, enjoy the refreshments.